officially crossed into Indiana. This is actually a new state for the both of us. We've Neither of us have ever explored Indiana except for you maybe driven through it before. Um, so we're actually, we're going to stay at the Indiana Sand Dunes for the next few days and we're also going to explore Chicago while we're there because we're not far from there. Um, Indiana, your roads are not much better than Ohio's, so that's kind of a lot so down. So far, we've only been in 10 miles. Yeah, but something. we've been just like bouncing like this and somehow you charge people for this, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> I know, um, what's up with these toll roads? These are interstates and somehow they're all toll roads. Yeah, let's hope it gets better. Um, but we're also crossing into Central Time today, which is kind of exciting because that means we're finally making some headway heading or heading west. But I'll be a little more excited when we cross into Mountain Time. I'm looking forward to that. The sun's been shining all day since we left Ohio and it seems like every time we arrive at a destination or leave the rain starts as soon as we're trying to pack, pack up. Currently this is the situation. Cloud. Yes this rain is coming but it's like one cloud right now but hey this is part of it. Get a nice rain jacket and tough it out. Yesterday we got into the campground and it was raining pretty much for the rest of the afternoon. That was like the remnants of Alberto coming up this way. So we stayed in the travel trailer and made dinner all night. But today it's beautiful and sunny and so we just came down to the beach area to check out Lake Michigan. Check this out. This is definitely not what I expected for a beach in Indiana or Lake Michigan for that matter. I can't believe the colors of the water, how blue it is. It looks pretty nice. It's gonna be a good beach day. So this morning we're going to take a trip into Chicago because we're only about an hour or so outside of the city and Charlie's never been to Chicago. I went a few years ago. Wow. Wait a minute, I was there when I was a little kid. I might not remember it, but I was there. That doesn't count. Oh. I was there like probably 10 years, 8 to 10 years ago and I really actually loved it. So I'm excited to go back and explore it again. Um, so we're still at the Indiana Dunes Park and there is actually a train that takes you from here into the city. I figured it'd be easier than trying to drive in, find parking. Um, most of the spots in the city I don't think are big truck certified. No. So It's actually pretty convenient though. It's like literally one mile outside of the campground. So we came over a bridge and parked. I got a parking spot right up front. A lot of people said that a lot of these train stations can be a little bit sketchy with like leaving parking and leaving valuables and stuff. So we took everything out of the truck, but we're parked right up front of the building. Um, we got here at 8.30 and the train's leaving at nine and there's plenty of parking spots, uh, plenty of overflow parking spots, but uh, we actually got a pretty good spot. So I'm happy with it. Yeah, and I got the um, tickets. I bought them on the app. You can download the like South Shoreline, I think it's called app. And it's 8.25 a person per ride into the city. So that's not too bad. And it was way more open than I thought. It was gonna be, I thought we were gonna be packed in there like sardines and it was nothing like that. It was wide open, easy rides. And as you can see, we are now at the Big Bean. We are in downtown Chicago. So we're gonna go check out the city and see what it's got to offer.
was actually buy nine pounds, get one pound free. You were, you were thinking about it. <laughs> I was considering it, but I came out with this instead. Charlie's good and everyone's eat candy, but I did get him one draft, draft beer, beer jelly belly. He's got to try it. Might be the only candy he likes. What does it taste like? Not like beer. Is it good? Is it bad? It's, yeah, it's good. And it's not like one of those nasty jelly beans. It's just, I don't think I would say draft beer. or pizza or preferably both but we're only here for a few hours so we're currently sitting on the back of the truck watching the sunset over Lake Michigan and it's going down right behind Chicago, and so the skyline is just glowing right now. Yeah, Indiana Dunes, uh, is this State Park? Mm -hmm. State, State Park, Park is pretty pretty impressive. I mean, for something that we didn't know anything about, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Like this spot, the beach is really amazing. The sand dunes in Indiana, of all places, doesn't really make sense, but it's awesome. Uh, so pretty impressed, and uh, like she said, the sunset is amazing. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,